Construction workers are hard at work making sure DMG Foods is ready to open Wednesday. Inside, workers are setting prices and stocking shelves. The Salvation Army's Gene Hogg says they have high hopes for this store and what it can do for East Baltimore residents already getting SNAP benefits. How do we present a sustainable model that engages the community in order for them to eat healthier, to eat cheaper, eat smarter, and all of that. The 7,000 square foot nonprofit store will carry name and store brands, fresh and frozen vegetables, a deli counter, a live butcher, prepared foods, and household items people may need. For many, it's a short walk to get healthy food in what used to be a food desert. Our basic target market are those individuals who do live across the street and all over in the areas where they don't have transportation, they have to get on a bus because they can't go to the local market. Well, they could, but it's just too expensive for them. DMG Foods will also host a five-week workforce development program for people to learn about food retail and then help them get placed at area stores. This store also hopes to be helpful in teaching people about healthy meals and how to select and prepare them. They would come in and every day they would have a different meal solution prepared for them. They could look at it, they could see the price of it, they could see the health value of that. They'll be able to come around in our presentation area where they'll be able to taste the food on that. Uh, and then also be able to provide a, an environment where they can come in and learn how to cook the food. All right, now the Salvation Army says if this store works out, their plan is to open these kinds of grocery stores in food deserts all over the country. Reporting live in East Baltimore, Lisa Robinson, WBAL-TV 11 News.